Hi everyone, this is Ardu Worth Watching and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the simple automatic sugar cane from Minecraft. It's really simple. If we look at the redstone behind it, there's not really a lot there at all. So this can be sand or dirt. And basically you plant your sugar cane in quite obviously, but when it goes up to here, it activates this piston because that is what is known as a block update detector and it will detect the block update here. Then it will push the sugar cane out and it will go into this water stream here. And it will fall down into this hopper and chest all to activate the trip wire which resets the system. So now for the tutorial. Okay, so I want to show you how to build it. So all the materials you need are inside this chest. You can take a moment and pause it if you need more time, but I'm just going to go ahead and put all these into my inventory. And I'll get rid of the chest. So, first you just need to start with your sand and then place eight blocks of sand all in a row, like that. Then with the building block of your choice, do the same thing, one block away, to allow the water stream to fit in. You need to place one block at the end to stop the water coming out. So next you need to get your water. You need to place that just here, right at the very end, and it should just come out, so just about there. Right, now for your pistons. So you're going to place two blocks high, delete the one underneath, and carry on this the whole way across. So all the way in line with the sand. Now you need eight pistons. On each layer, so one layer here with another layer on top. There we go, just like that. So for the redstone, first by going out one on each of these sides and placing another building block, you need to go down one and place redstone all the way across here so it will allow for easy placement of the string. So the tripwire hook, one on here. And the same on the other side. Then place your string just like that. Then you can go ahead and delete this because this won't be needed anymore. Like that. Right, now to place redstone on there, just like that. Now next to it, a block one off the floor with a redstone torch on top of it. With building block again then redstone torch and finally another building block like that. Now with the remaining torches you place one on the back of the middle and one on the back of the top like that. Now you need to go across here like that with the first row of pistons and then one block above that like this do the same again and that should be one block no not one that should be above the piston like that. Now you need to extend them so they're in line with this stuff now your repeater goes just there and then you run redstone all the way across right to the very end and with this one is the same except that you don't have the repeater it goes all the way across like that so that's the redstone for this completed and to show you that it works we'll go here it will reset the system so imagine this is your sugar cane it goes in front of this then it's going to get pushed out just like that and then it will reset the system so we are nearly done so we are going to get a hopper we also need a chest for this part put the hopper one block down just here then the chest below that which will allow it to collect up in the chest and you can easily take it out so that's basically it done, but something I'm going to add that I didn't put in before is this here. You need to put glass, or you could put another block, but I prefer glass. Three layers across here like that. And basically this just stops the sugar cane coming out of the farm and basically not resetting the system. It all gets messed up and obviously you want it to be collected in your chest as well. So that completes the tutorial on how to build a simple automatic sugarcane farm in Minecraft.
so please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this and that is the end of my video see you in the next video and goodbye